I thought, what is Cocaine Bear? What is it about? Then they said it's about a bear that does cocaine. And then you go, are you serious? And then you find out that they are serious. And then you read it. And it's this crazy, zany, fun, exciting movie. And I think it's so cool of uh, Universal and the people who put it together to take this big swing and do this crazy wacko movie on this scale. It's really fun and unexpected. It was so fun. I mean, Elizabeth Banks created such a great environment and it was so laid back and just a lot of fun. We had a great time making it and it was that's the kind of feeling you want, especially when you're working on a movie like this, is to be genuinely having a good time and uh, thanks to her we really were. I mean, I'm more afraid of bears now than I was not that it's Bear's fault, but I just watched a lot of bear attack videos getting ready for the thing. So if I were to say fight, flight, or party with cocaine bear, you would say flight? It depends on whether it's a brown bear or a black bear. I was shooting in Toronto, and I just got home from a work day, and my mom was like, oh my gosh. And I just hear her laughing in the bedroom. She's like, you just got this audition. Like, the script is hilarious, but don't freak out. It's about a bear on cocaine. And I was like... Okay, first, what is cocaine? And she was like, she had to explain it. And then I basically, like, I didn't read the script because, you know, it's pretty. And she just, like, taught me the sides. And I was like, I just fell in love with the sides and the character. And I filmed it. And, like, I was all, like, greasy and, like, from working. And I was like, I'm probably not going to get this. And, like, two weeks later, they were like, you got the job. And I was like, I freaked out. And when I saw that Elizabeth Banks was directing, I mean, I love The Hunger Games, and but I just love her and how her story from an actor to a director came to be, and I just, I was like automatically screaming. <laughs> um, when I got to set, uh, it was like, they had like the Chattahoochee National Forest, like all like set up, and that was my first day with Christian, and I just walked on set and um, Elizabeth was in this blazer, I'll never forget, this like blazer, this business suit, and I was like, oh, this is amazing. This is already going to go great. And we shot like two scenes the first day and Elizabeth was just like so hands-on. So like telling, telling people left and right, like just like talking to everyone was like amazing. Like the director I want to be when I grow up. And um, the cast, like there was um, Alan who played the bear, like crawling around on his stilts. <laughs> it was hilarious. So that was my first day on set. Pretty wild one. <laughs> When they walk into that movie, they're not expecting when they come out to be like, what did I just watch? <laughs> like, this is going to go down as like one of the greatest movies in history just because it's like so out of the box. And the fact that it's inspired by true events, people are going to see this bear on cocaine on the front and are going to see Carrie Russell and Ray Liotta and O'Shea Jackson and are just going to immediately be drawn into the theaters and then come out like... They just, they're mind blown. I thought it was like a Coen Brothers movie with a rampaging bear. Um, and I really like the Coen Brothers, so here we are. <laughs> I am friends with a lot of the people that are here. Um, and some of it came together that way. So O'Shea and I met in Santa Barbara a few years ago. We follow each other on Twitter. He retweeted uh, the tweet that I was doing this movie, so I knew he was interested. And little did he know, I had a role for him in it. So I just called him. Um, that was easy. Uh, Alden was Han Solo, so like Lord and Miller, and we we are all like, I think he's an incredible actor. I was thrilled he signed on. Uh, Margo Martindale, I worked with on Mrs. America, and I as soon as I read the script, I knew she was Ranger Liz. Jesse Taylor Ferguson, and I have been friends for 25 years. He did me a favor being in this movie. Um, who else? Brooklyn and Christian were both on two shows that my kids and I all watched together. So Brooklyn was on Home Before Dark and Christian was on Sweet Tooth and we were like obsessed with those shows. So those were our kids. I mean, it was really kind of, we got it from all over the place. And then Scott Cease was a TikTok star. It's a combination of things that's always fun. You know, it's the comedy and the horror that, that uh, hopefully keeps people interested. And then the characters, these great characters. So I'd love to take these characters on another journey. Liz called me, it was the middle of the pandemic, and she basically just pitched it to me over the phone. 
and I then I was like, I don't know if I even really need to read the script because that's kind of I'm kind of already in. But I was like, sure, send it to me. She also has really good taste, so I knew that if she thought it was well written and funny, uh, then it would be really well written and funny. And Jimmy Warren, our, our uh, writer, did a great job, and she really just sold it. And, like literally in ten minutes, I was I was in. I got all my stuff with Carrie and Margot and Matthew a little bit. But you have to understand, I'm also a huge Americans fan. So I was like, you guys, I'm just gonna come out, I'm gonna be really upfront with you both. I'm a massive fan of the Americans. And I'm like, basically imagining myself as a, as a cast member of that show with you right now. Um, it was so much fun and so easy to, to you know, hang out with that, that fantastic group of people. And also Liz is someone I've known for 20 something years. So. You know, having her direct me is was just really felt like a full circle moment. She was like, "Do we think you need a wig?" I was like, "Yes." And then we're like, well, "Which way do we go with it?" It, it, it could go a million different directions, uh, and we sort of like went with Robert Redford in like you know that era. Some people have told me it looks a little bit more Bruce Valanche, and I was like, "Well, that's because I've done cocaine accidentally and climbed up a tree and been mauled by a bear, so your hair tends to get a little mussed in that situation." Um, so I don't know, like a cross between Bruce Lance and Robert Redford. I think that's what we went for. And we nailed it. You know, fight, flight, or party with cocaine bear? Party with. He's got the good stuff. February 24th, I'd party with cocaine bear. I was like scrolling through Twitter. I, I found the story and I like freaked out about it, went into like a rabbit hole and then just decided all right, we know the true story. What would have happened if the bear had survived? And then my imagination kind of just sort of took hold. I never thought that they would ever make this movie. Testament to Universal, honestly. They made the movie and they called it Cocaine Bear, so I couldn't be happier. Yeah, I think that we can follow every animal in the animal kingdom doing cocaine. The opportunities are endless. Fight flight or party with cocaine bear? Party. It's cocaine bear. Banks had a vision of it from the beginning. She knew the tone and when she told me she was going to get Margot Martindale, I was like, oh, I'm in. It was like a Scooby-Doo movie. Like everyone was in their own movie. You know what I mean? They, we were all circling with our own stories to the center. And I was in like the mom and kids and Jesse and Margot's story. So. We call them the kids, they were in their own story. It was in the middle of COVID and the world was so hard and so crazy. And we were like, let's just go have fun. Let's make this crazy, insane, fun thing. And that's what it was. I had heard about the, the story so somewhere, but I thought it was a myth. Just a, like, you know, a, a, a feather that became ten ends. So, so, but it, it's, it, it's a true story and, and, and uh, inspired by it. Inspired by it's yeah. not, it's almost, almost. It's a bit more depth than this. It's one of the scripts you just start reading immediately. What is this? And I believe that this can be a franchise. So we're going to be cocaine moose, cocaine salmon, cocaine rat. It's going to be like all animals going to get their own movies. I promise. It was wonderful. Uh, a lot of impro and uh, Elizabeth Banks is a wonderful director. She's an actor herself and she just gave us freedom and we had a lot of fun. It was crazy. Fight, flight or party with cocaine bear. What do you do? Uh, I think uh, I, I, would, uh, I would run. What would you do? I think I would, uh, I think I would run. Actually, I get the call from Elizabeth Banks, would you like to have lunch? Lunch is all about telling me about Cocaine Bear, never mentioning would you like to be in it. And then the next thing I know is, Elizabeth Banks wants you to do Cocaine Bear, and I went, I'm in it. I have never had more fun in my life to be with Carrie and Matthew and Elizabeth and Jesse Tyler Ferguson in Dalkey, Ireland. Heaven. Fight, flight, or party with Cocaine Bear? What would you choose? What would Margot Martindale choose? Yes. Absolute flight. <laughs> <laughs> A roller coaster ride of fun, horror, 
uh, surprises, over the top, uh, scary, I, and I hope in the end extremely satisfying. I saw that Elizabeth had got the rights to a movie called Cocaine Bear, and immediately my, my thought was, they'll never get this movie made. And then I retweeted it and told them, take my money. She saw the tweet because she follows me, called me up, was like, hey, you want to be in it? And I said, absolutely, let's do it. Wherever Shay is, Shay's going to have a good time. So, um, you know, I got along with Alden, you know, from the jump. Great chemistry, great crew. Elizabeth, uh, you know, she's, a, she's an actor's director, kind of like a player's coach. She knows how to speak your language because she's been in your shoes. So I had a great time. Fight, flight, or party with cocaine bears? Don't go. <laughs> That's my number one survival tip for any situation. Just don't go. You'll be safe. I'm a PlayStation man. Anything Woodland with me is Woodland Hills. Nothing else. It was an audition that got me into a part. Well, Elizabeth Banks also saw my TikToks. I think is what happened. Yeah, and she thought those were funny. And she was like, what if this guy uh, was in mortal danger? <laughs> what if this guy was screaming as, as loud as he could? Um, so I did a self-tape and, you know, got the part. And now I'm in the movie. Oh, yeah, I was into it. I, I love horror. I love stuff like that. Um, you know, it's funny that, so when I got the, me the message for the audition, it was a me mess Facebook message from the casting director went to my spam folder on Facebook. Went to my spam. I didn't see it for like weeks. And then I had to, and all I saw was a, the subject line, cocaine. And I was like, well, that, that can't be real. That can't be real. And then I opened it up and I saw Phil Lord, Christopher Miller, Elizabeth Banks. And I was like, did I miss this? Did I miss this? But I, you know, did it. That's why I answer every spam email now. I think it's a movie.